Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with a very spontaneous reading today. Um, I just got this deck in the mail um, not even an hour ago and I opened it up and I was looking through the cards and I just got this really strong feeling like I needed to use this for a reading like yesterday. Um, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now. This is the Golden Tarot. This is the box. This is the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. This deck is really cool. It's beautiful. The artwork is... I, I think the majority of the artwork is actually like art from the late Middle Ages and early Renaissance. Um, and this deck was very kindly sent to me by one of my clients. Her name is Maxine. I hope she doesn't mind me <laughs> saying her name, um, but she was kind enough to donate this deck to me and I really appreciate that. Um, and it, basically it just told me we need to do a reading, okay? Um, so I've got these three uh, crystals sitting out. Um, I'm going to do three different readings today. Uh, for the first one, we're going to have this Opalite. For the second one, we've got Dalmatian Jasper. And for number three, we have Rainbow Quartz slash Aura Quartz. Aura Quartz is the real name of this uh, rock, as I recently learned. Um, but anyway, the reading we're going to do is... Um, I'll be honest, I'm not real clear yet on what the purpose is going to be. What I heard, though, when I was looking through these cards was um, a re reading for anybody who's missing someone. So this could be for, like, if you are in a uh, no contact situation with somebody that you care about, if you are in separation from somebody that you love, um, whatever. This is a uh, reading for that type of situation, okay? So um, I'll give you a moment to think about what, uh, what pile uh, or what group you wanna go with and then we will get started, okay? All right, so option one was the opalite crystal. So let's see um, what the cards have to say to you guys. What's the message for group one? We have the Ten of Coins popping out. Oops. We have Judgment. We have Strength. Let me move these. Judgment, Strength, and the Emperor. Okay. So right away, I feel as though you guys who picked this option are, um, clearly you have someone in mind that you're uh, thinking about that you're missing. Um, I feel like whatever this connection is, it's something that has caused you a lot of pain in the past. I think now the majority of you guys have moved beyond that pain. You've kind of, uh, you've accepted it. You have you know, healed it for the most part. Um, I'm getting that mostly from the strength card being here. Also, the emperor is kind of speaking to me of, like, you have sort of resigned yourself to this situation. Like, you have surrendered control because you know you can't really do anything about what's going on. Um... And I think that a lot of you guys have found peace in this situation with the Ten of Coins being here. Um, but 
you're still, I think, hopeful that someday this connection can be restored. Um, and so I feel like that's where a lot of you guys who picked this option are at right now. So let's see what other cards want to come out for you guys. What else do we have for group one? We have the king of coins. So stability, um, the king of coins talks about like feeling secure, feeling like you've got things under control. Y yeah, I feel like many of you have really, you haven't really moved past this situation per se, but you've moved past like the emotional pain that you felt um, regarding this person. Um, and with the high priestess card, I feel like a lot of you guys have kind of, um, accepted or surrendered to the idea that, like, you know, this is a situation that you have no control over, and I feel like a lot of you guys have turned to your faith or, you know, like, whatever you believe in as a source of comfort, um, when it comes to this connection with this person, um, because many of you just feel like it's totally beyond your control, and I think it is. Um, and I think a lot of you had a hard time accepting that, coming to terms with that, but I feel like now you're at a place where you understand that this is something that is possibly preordained in some way. Um, you know, I don't, uh, my relationship with, like, the idea of fate and destiny is kind of complicated. You know, I think, for the most part, the future is determined by our actions and by the choices that we make. But I do think that there are some things that are just going to happen, no matter what, uh, but the, the how and the when is changeable. Um, and so I think that what has happened with this person um, is something that was just meant to happen, like it just had to occur. Um, and I think you understand that. <clears throat> and you remind yourself of that whenever you find yourself uh, missing this person or feeling down about what whatever has happened between you. Um, let's see what other cards want to come out. We have the Seven of Cups here. Um, the Seven of Cups, okay, the Seven of Cups is telling me that, um, you guys, uh, a, a lot of you are kind of on the verge of moving on from this fully, or as much as you can, if you haven't already, um, because the Seven of Cups talks about, like, having a lot of options and, you know, trying to figure out which path to take, which road do you go down, where do you go from here, um, so I think a lot of you, if you haven't already, you know, moved forward from this, I think you're seriously thinking about it. You're weighing your options. You're looking at what's available to you. And I think, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Eight of Cups is right on top here. Um... I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I need to, I don't think I'm supposed to take the other cards, but the Eight of Cups really wanted to make itself known. Um, so the Eight of Cups, like I just said, a lot of you, I think, have already moved forward. Um, and what I was going to say when that happened was, um, I think for many of you, this is a love interest or was a love interest. Um, that you wanted to wait for, and, and maybe you did wait for them for a while, but I feel like you got tired of it, and you kind of just, 
said, you know, if this is something that's meant to happen, then it will happen. And in the meantime, I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, and so that's where this, you know, weighing your options and seeing what's available and, and moving forward is coming in. So let's see what else they want you to know, group one, about this situation. We've got the five of wands. So the five of wands, let me move these cards up a little bit. The five of wands talks about conflict, competition, fighting. Um, I do feel like you have had some conflict um, internally about moving forward. And there may have even been some conflict with other people for some of you about this. Um, for example, uh, okay, this is kind of specific, but um, for those of you who are in communication, like with your spirit guides and whatnot, um, for some of you, I feel like your your guides might have actually like advised you to wait longer um, or continue waiting um, for some reason. And maybe you said, you know, if you can give me a good reason for why I should do that, then I will. And I feel like uh, they they didn't um, because you're not meant to know everything. So they didn't tell you everything. And so you have moved on. Um, but that's just for a very small number of you, I think. For others, others of you, this is just either talking about like internal conflict or possibly conflict with other people um, about, you know, moving on. Um, yeah, we have the full card here. So you guys have moved forward. You have started, you know, something new. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like you might be involved with somebody else now. Um, in something that is relatively new. Yeah, the three of coins. Um, you're, you're building something with, uh, somebody, someone new. Um, this card talks about, like, laying down a foundation, creating the groundwork upon which you can build something greater. Um, so, I think a lot of you are doing that. You are, like, putting that groundwork down with another person, you know, in as far as like relationships go. Um, because you just, I feel like you just got tired of waiting and it was like, like I said, I feel like many of you just kind of threw your hands up and you were like, if, if I'm meant to be with this person, then I will be with this person, but I'm not going to put my life on hold waiting for them to get it together or whatever. Okay. And so you've moved forward and you are I, I feel like a lot of you guys are pretty happy with your current situation it's just that this person you know from your past that you're not in touch with it they're just kind of lingering like in your mind in your heart um and some of you might not be sure why for some of you i think you already know because uh, yeah you guys are like soulmates um you have some really profound connection for some of you it might be like a twin flamey kind of thing um you and this person that you're missing have something really special but they weren't ready for it or they didn't want to embrace it or somebody you know somebody was not here for it completely and so that's why this break happened that's why this separation is going on and i kind of get the feeling like a lot of you guys know that whoever this person is that you're missing i think you have some like just sense of knowing that it's not completely over like they're going to resurface in your life at some point it's just a matter of when um 
and I really actually feel like they're going to do that when you least expect it. Um, let me just see the, what other cards want to come out. I might just get one or two more. Temperance and the devil. <laughs> yeah, um, temperance, this is like restoration. This is also about patience. Um, so I feel like this connection is with this person that you're missing, that you're thinking about. I feel like this is going to be restored. I feel like it is going to kind of be, I, I want to say resurrected. And with the devil card popping up, um, I feel like it's going to happen possibly at a very inopportune time. <laughs> um, and I'm not sh quite sure what that is going to mean for all of you. Um, but like I said, I just feel like it's going to happen when you least expect it. And it it might cause some disruption in, in your life. Um, for a lot of you, I think because you've kind of settled settled in with somebody new um and it's kind of like this person might pop back up and make you be like oh well i'm kind of seeing someone else now but like i still love you and care about you so i don't know what's going on um i feel like that's probably going to happen for a lot of you let me get a final outcome card, or a potential outcome card, I should say, for group one in regards to this situation. I mean, what we what we just talked about was essentially an outcome. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they have anything else they want to add. All right then. Okay then, uh, group number one. That is your message. Um, for those of you who are missing somebody. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you and I hope it gives you some insight. Um, I have to say that this is actually the first reading I have ever done with this deck and I am loving it. It's very easy to read with. It just feels, you know, very natural. Um, the way that the cards come out, you know, I'm, I'm really digging this deck. So, thank you so much to the person who sent this to me. Um, and thank you, Group 1, for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I, I am always thinking about you, and I'm always sending good vibes your way. Um, I think that's about it. So, we're going to move on now to Group number 2 which was the Dalmatian Jasper. Give me one second here. Okay, group two. Let's see what your message is. For those of you who are missing someone, okay, um, I don't think I'm going to take all of those because that's a lot of cards. Let's see here. What's Groove 2's message? Those who are missing someone. We have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, uh, most of us know, is... Um, usually indicative of some sort of offer, usually pertaining to love or relationships or emotions. Um, so this could be a sign that 
an offer of that sort is on its way to you. Um, the tower is coming out. The tower is something, uh, the tower represents something that is unexpected, some sort of major change, some sort of big like upheaval. Um, so what this is telling me is that you guys might have an offer or maybe just some communication from this person that you're thinking about that's going to be very unexpected and really going to um, shake things up for you in some way or another. Uh, let's see what other cards want to come out. We have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands, um, this card is about perseverance. It's about uh, pushing through to uh, see um, see the completion of a, a goal, or you know, overcoming obstacles to achieve something that you want. It's also about like working hard pushing through to the end even though you might feel like giving up. So what's this talking about? We have the Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is about walking away from something, moving on from something, leaving something behind, someone or something. Um, so I feel like either this person walked away from you or you walked away from them. And it was something that sh shouldn't have really happened because with the Sun card, this card is like the best card in the deck, like, period. Um, I feel like this connection with this person was something that, that was really strong and something that made you both really happy, but there was also something about it that just created problems somehow um and i get the sense that oh okay i'm getting something slightly different here so if that what i just talked about doesn't resonate with you this might resonate with you um this could also be past energy. Um, you may have been, you may have received an offer from somebody that was unexpected or was just like something that wasn't really possible for you at the time. Um, with the Tower card, it could have been something that came in at a very inopportune moment. Um, and even though you loved and cared for this person, because of your circumstances at that time, you could not accept the offer that they made to you. Um, and I feel like as a result of that, they were kind of dejected and they maybe walked away from you as a result. Um, Let's see what other cards want to come out. Or it could be vice versa, you know, take it however it applies to your specific situation. Um, but somebody walked away because they were rejected, I feel like. And they weren't rejected because they weren't loved or because the other person wasn't interested. It was just because the other person just couldn't accept their offer at the time for whatever reason. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords here. Um, this talks about, like, it, it, this is an energy of being distant, of being icy, um, very unemotional. I feel like whoever... So if it was you who couldn't accept the other person's offer, then I feel like the, the Queen of Swords is representing you. Um, I feel like you may have projected this energy of uh, iciness, of like not 
being interested, very unemotional um, kind of energy towards that person just because you didn't want to um, lead them on, you didn't want to give them false hope, or vice versa. Like I said, take it however it resonates with you. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, the roles could be reversed. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah! Oh my god. It's like, this is the energy that you put forth towards this person, but the reality was this. The reality was that you did have feelings for them, you did have love for them. But for some reason, you just couldn't show them that. And because they couldn't see that, they left. They walked away. Um, and I feel like you are feeling very regretful of maybe how you approached this situation or how you handled it. Yeah. The uh, Nine of Swords is here. This card is about anxiety and stress and worry. So I feel like you definitely have regret about how you handled this. Um, and then the Eight of Swords is here as well. Um, this card talks about isolation. It talks about, you know, withdraw. Um, so I feel like this energy is kind of applicable for both you and the other person. Um, they are feeling this way because they got rejected. You are feeling this way because you feel stupid um, for, like, how you handled this. We also have the High Priestess here. Um, let's find out what that card is all about. Why is the High Priestess here? We have the Eight of Coins. High Priestess and the Eight of Coins. I feel as though both of you, okay, both of you are willing to put forth the effort to make this connection work out now, but neither of you are communicating that to the other person. Probably because you guys don't realize that the other person feels the same way that you do. Um, the High Priestess can talk about something um, being hidden, like the unknown. Um, so I feel like this information is unknown to both of you. It's like... They want to put effort into this, but they're not, you know, they're not telling you that because they don't think that you're interested. And, you know, the same, I think the same is true for you you're probably willing to do that too, but you're not doing it because, you know, it's just like one of those things where it's like, I feel as though this is something that didn't have to be a big deal, but it may have been left unaddressed for too long and it just kind of grew into something uh, bigger and more serious than it needed to, okay, than it actually is. Um, Let's see what other cards want to come out for you guys. Yeah, we have the Three of Wands. So, because nobody is communicating anything, um, and because you guys are both in this energy of, like, withdraw, you're, you're both kind of just waiting. It's a waiting game at this point. Um, nobody's doing anything. Nobody's got plans to do anything, I don't think. Um, it's just nothing's happening. <laughs> um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, can we get a potential outcome for group two and the person that they are thinking about in this situation? We have the Ace of Coins, so um, this talks about a new beginning, um, and with it being coins or pentacles energy, this talks about like 
stability and consistency, commitment. So I, I feel like it's, I feel like there is potential for this connection to be restored and to have like a new start and to become, you know, like a consistent, stable thing for you guys to be a regular part of one another's lives again. Um, it's just, it's just a matter of like, something's got to give here. I feel like you both, I feel like both of you guys are equally stubborn in this situation. Um, you know, no shade or anything, but like, um, I'm just getting a really stubborn energy, like, two people just, like, looking at each other, not moving, like, refusing to move until the other person does something. And, and so nothing's going on. Um, so, can we get some advice for group two? I feel like we need some advice. Let me get some advice for group two. Um, we have the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the World card. So the World card is telling me that you guys, I mean, the fact that it took so long for anything to come out tells me that they really didn't want to give you this advice because you already know what needs to happen. Um, but with the World card being here, it's basically saying, like, you just have to do something. Just put an end to this, like cycle that you guys are in put an end to this like foolishness that's happening um because this talks about completion stop being stubborn you know it's like you're being offered these cups both of you have these cups like available to you but neither of you are taking them because because why i don't know um stubbornness, uh, if you, you, neither of you feel like, or I guess I should say both of you feel like the other person is not interested anymore. Um, something, something like that is going on here. I feel like if you guys can, if you both just relented and like gave in to this because I feel like both of you want to to some extent I feel like if you did that then you could have this like two of cups with them this card talks about union and partnerships and love and I feel like that's very possible for you too like that's where this could go if If your person would just stop being stubborn. And you. I feel like you're being kind of stubborn too. But, um, you know. Like I said, I get this really strong feeling like this started out as something minor. That just snowballed out of control. And, like, now it's at this point where you're not even on speaking terms. You're not talking you don't really have anything to do with each other anymore, but you both still miss each other, okay? Um, so, uh, you could reach out to this person. I'm not sure, though, that they would be immediately receptive. Um, and if they're not, then... They might just need a bit more time to, like get over what happened, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, um, or, or process it, or whatever, okay, um, but anyway, group two, that's your reading, I hope that resonated with you, um, and I hope it gave you some insight into what might be going on, um, 
as always, these are just general readings, so um, just take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. Last group, Aura Quartz. Okay. What messages do we have for group three? For those of you who are missing someone. We've got the Three of Coins, we've got the Nine of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. I feel like the person that you're thinking about, you have history with this person. I feel like you guys um, were at one time in the process of like cre creating something, building, building a relationship together. And I feel like it was going really well. Um, the Nine of Cups talks about like wish fulfillment and contentment and happiness. So I feel like things were going really smoothly for a while. Um, you know, you were getting to know each other. You were building a relationship like from the ground up. Things were going well, but then something happened. Five of Cups, it's, this talks about, you know sadness and grief and loss and like fixating on the negatives um so something happened between you and this person that made you feel very confused and very hurt i think what other cards want to come out for group three We have the Seven of Coins and the Ace of Coins. So the Seven of Coins is, um, this card is about planning for the future. It's like looking back on, you know, where you've come from and planning out where you're going to go from there. Okay, so it's not a very active card. It's, it's, a, it's a planning card. Um, it's like... What's the best way, what's going to be the best way forward at this point? And the Ace of Coins is about a new start. It's about a new beginning. Um, I feel like, okay, things were going well between you and this person. Something happened. And I think either you or your person was kind of like, okay, what happens now and somebody decided that the best thing to do would be to just move on and start over again without the other person i feel for a lot of you it was probably the other person who did this and you were probably the one that got left out left behind but um if that doesn't resonate with you you know the roles can always be reversed so just take it how it resonates What else do we want to say to group three? We have the Ten of Cups. Your person is trying to find happiness elsewhere. I think this is what your person ultimately wants. I feel like your person ultimately wants to be happy. They want to have a satisfying, loving relationship. They might even want, you know, the whole family thing. Um, they want that. And they, I feel like they, they saw themselves having that with you, but whatever this Five of Cups is, something happened that, that kind of in their, from their perspective, like jeopardized that future. And I feel for a lot of you, it was something that wasn't even that major. Like, I feel like for a lot of you, somebody just made a mistake. And it could have just been, you know, there could have just been an apology and then everybody just move on. But that's not really what happened. They kind of dwelled on it. And 
I think they like psyched themselves out and made themselves feel like this is beyond repair. I have to I have to just walk away. Yeah, we got the strength card and we have the five of wands. The five of wands is about conflict, turmoil. Um, I think your person has a lot of inner conflict going on. Um, also, like I said, I think they're trying to find this happiness that they want elsewhere, but they're it's it's not working. Like they're just finding more trouble. Um, and I think that's because they just can't seem to move past you like if you're missing this person they're missing you just as much if not more um with the strength card it's like they just they're not they've not been able to overcome uh oh excuse me um they've not been over to, been able to overcome these um feelings that they have towards you and i think they really regret walking away we've got the eight of coins coming out i feel as though they would be willing to work towards reconciliation but i'm not sure that they actually will take action to make that happen it's like it's like they would like to make it work you know in their like in theory in their mind that's kind of what they want but are they actually going to take action towards that uh it's uh, it's debatable um let's see what we have here we have judgment i feel like your person is very first of all i feel like they're very judgmental of themselves which is a problem because it, it makes them second guess everything that they think and do and say and also they need to have like um my godmother would call this like a come to jesus moment where you just kind of have this like revelation like you suddenly realize that what you've been doing is total complete bullshit and you got to do something about it um i feel like that's what they need what needs to happen for them um and i think it it let's see what other cards would have come out what else wants to come out for group three the king of swords okay so i think that this judgment will come for them um i feel like they will have this awakening this like revelation that you know they need to just stop being stupid and just like talk to you like a normal person um the king of swords is about truth and insight um honesty so i feel like at some point if you're not in touch with this person, I feel like they will get in touch with you because I think they want, they have things that they want to say. Um, I think they, they do want to apologize with judgment here also. Um, let's see what else wants to come out for group three. We got the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords talks about an ending, a painful ending, heartbreak. Um, can I get a clarifier for this? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Ten of Coins. All right, so, um, this is interesting. Oh, okay. Why didn't you say that? Um, 
I think they would, what they would like to communicate to you is how much whatever happened has hurt them, or how, I think they also, they want to acknowledge that they hurt you, okay, um, because I feel like you were hurt by what's happened, um, it might have made you feel like, you know, what, what's wrong with me, like, why, why did you just take off like that, you know, um, I think they, they want to acknowledge that, they want to apologize, and also with the Ten of Coins, I think that they, I feel like they still see this Ten of Cups with you. These two cards are really similar for me. Um, they still see this as something that they would, you know, in, in a perfect world, something that they would like to have with you. And so, I think what the Ten of Coins is saying is that that's something that they would still be willing to work towards. You know what I mean? Let's get a potential outcome for group three and uh, the person that they're thinking about. It is starting to get dark in here. I hope you guys can still see everything okay. It's almost 5 p.m., which is, like, way later than I normally do readings. But, you know, I got this deck and I was just like, I have to use it. I have to. Can we get a potential outcome for group three in this, regarding this situation? We have the chariot, so the chariot is telling me that I think this situation will move forward. Um, I think the two of you will be able to move forward together in a positive direction. Um, let me get another card, because I feel like there's more. What else do they need to know? And there's the Ace of Wands. Yeah, a new beginning, a new start. Um, kind of like a rekindling of this connection. Um, a reinvigoration of this connection. I think that there is a new beginning on the horizon for you you in this person. And it's going to be something that's going to be exciting and passionate and fun. And I feel like this... All, this issue, these issues that have happened, I think are going to be, you know, left in the past. Um, and you guys are going to be able to move forward in a really, um, in a really good way. Uh, I'm just not sure about, like, how long that's going to take. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a time frame, possibly? for when this is going to start progressing. Okay. 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 Um, Eight of Swords, this is telling me that your person is still not ready yet to um, approach you. They're still in this um, kind of self-imposed imprisonment um, because I think they still feel bad. I think they feel guilty. I think they feel stupid. I think they just feel kind of like ashamed or embarrassed of how they behaved. Um, also the hanged man. Again, this is a very inactive card. They're not ready yet to move forward. And the king of coins. I think that's uh, only going to happen when they find some what's the word I'm looking for? Actually, I I, I want to say that this might happen in the fall, in the autumn time, uh, which in the northern hemisphere is uh, starts at the end of September. Um, so late September, October, November, the first 
20 odd days of December. Um, I feel like that is when, for a lot of you, I feel like that's when this is going to start making progress. Like, you might hear from this person before then, but I don't think any, like, real changes are going to happen until that, like, time frame. Um, and I think even if you're, n I think even if you're in, like, the Southern Hemisphere, I, st I, still feel like it would be like that time of year okay um those those months i should say um so group number three that is your reading i hope that this resonated with you and i hope you enjoyed um thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you like this deck i really had a good time using it it's really easy to use i'm kind of surprised um i don't think i've ever connected with a deck this quickly or easily um so that's pretty exciting for me uh yeah thank you so much for watching guys leave me a comment if you enjoyed um whatever you guys do i don't know um i hope i see you next time bye